learning how to read evidence and to determine um, uh, characteristics of the offender who committed a particular crime. So we're going to start off with um, the history of criminal profiling. Believe it or not, this started uh, uh, in the 1100s approximately um, with uh, profiling witches. You know how to tell a witch? <laughs> they drown. <laughs> <laughs> they don't burn, right? Um, they're all women. They usually have a cat. Um, they're unmarried. Which, you know. <laughs> so there was a book published um, back in the day that was basically about how to tell a witch and what to do when you found one. So that's where we're going to start, and we'll show a couple Monty Python clips that are pretty good about that. <laughs> and, um, and then we'll cover some terminology and some more modern cases like uh, Jack the Ripper um, in the 1900s, George Metesky, the mad bomber from New York City. He was probably the first case that um, where uh, there was a very accurate profile uh, made of him, and that's kind of what inspired the FBI to start um, their profiling program. You probably know about the, the FBI, right? <laughs> Has everybody seen um, Silence of the Lambs? Yes. 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 It's a great movie, right? So Clarice Starling is a behavioral profiler. So George Metesky, the Unabomber, was the case that kind of started all that. So we'll cover him and um, a few other modern cases. The Unabomber, different from the Mad Bomber, great uh, profiling uh, caught him. And then we'll move into uh, reading evidence, um, using different methodologies to read evidence and, and make determinations, um, scientific de determinations from that evidence. And um, we'll do some case studies and test your skills. And we'll probably wrap up with the Zodiac case because it's local and it's unsolved and everybody loves that case, right? There is a partial DNA profile out there of Zodiac. Um, and uh, one thing that was found from that, that DNA testing was that um, it, it cleared the one suspect, the main suspect that we had, which was Arthur Lee Allen for that. So um, the DNA cleared him. So. You know, there are a lot of armchair detectives on that case, and I think that we could use another 30 more. So um, <laughs> right, then we'll get it. We'll finally solve it. So that's what, probably going to be our last case, and we'll also talk about the Golden State Killer. He was uh, caught this year, right, yes. through DNA. So we'll try to weave in a little bit of how that works, too. Um, and that's probably about it. Uh, this is my second time teaching at Ollie, and I had a great time the first time. So I'm looking forward to being back, and I'll be around to answer questions. <laughs>